You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. Is there a coup happening anywhere? Oh, there's a coup happening right now as we speak. It's in Africa. It's in uh, which country? It's in Niger. I think the coup has already happened. Okay. <laughs> uh, the French have been evicted from there. And uh, Mr. Putin and the Wagner company are involved in this. And the, Fra and the French are very unhappy. And there could be a counter coup which would, could happen soon. In the next uh, hours or days, who knows? Really? Yes. Counter coup, obviously because of America. Uh, the French, the French. Oh. So in Western Africa, it's they typically been the French who have dominated the region. Uh, they still actually are the colonizers by proxy of this region. And this country, Niger, the coup has been to, uh, to free this country from French uh, domination. So then the French are unhappy because the Niger is a big producer of uranium. The topic of our uh, overall topic of our, our uh, this this conversation today, uranium is what uh, you know gives you nuclear power, and a significant amount of French electricity is generated from nuclear power, maybe more than sixty percent. So they need uranium, and Niger is a major pr producer of uranium, and now they have evicted all the French soldiers from their territory, which means France has lost control of the uranium mines in this country, and that's not a good thing for them. If lost control to Russia. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Russia is involved in this. Uh, the Wagner group, Mr. Prigozhin's, uh, you know, paramilitary force is most likely uh, present on the soil of this nation. And they could help the government, the new government, the coup regime to, to prevent a counter coup or something. So there's a lot going on over there right now. Very tiny update on Russia, Ukraine is? Ah, uh, right now... Uh, the war is very slow right now. Uh, Russia is in control of roughly a fifth of the country, the Donbas region. And whatever uh, whatever counteroffensive the Ukrainians have tried, have uh, all the counteroffensives have, have unfortunately, for, from their perspective, failed very badly. Uh, eventually, it, may, it looks like Ukraine may break up and Poland may be a new entrant into this into this war and they may gobble up whatever is left of Ukraine, uh, incorporate it, that, that into Polish territory. Belarus may get involved uh, on the side of Russia. So there's a whole lot happening there as well. This may get involved is because the leaders of those countries have come out and shown support. Yes. Belarus essentially is a Russian vassal. Mm. It's, it's a Russian client state. Um, uh, Lukashenko, the, their, their president, is a great uh, ally uh, and supporter of Mr. Putin. And the Wagner group ha is, a, has a presence right now in Belarus. And Russia has also tr transferred tactical nuclear weapons onto Belarus territory, which tells you that Belarus is fully and firmly under Russian control. This war happening, this coup happening, is it normal? Or are we seeing a cycle repeat itself? And I ask you once again, Abhijit Chawda, because we've used this title on so many thumbnails. Is this the start of a bit of a world war? And I say that very cautiously. Well, the good question, you know, the situation kind of reminds me of the days of the early 1910s, right before the First World War started, you know, there were all there was this absolute geopolitical mess at the time, lots of countries were trying to regain lost territory and lots of uh, all various alliances were forming and counter alliances were, be, were being formed similar to what we are seeing right now. So there is a mess in, in Ukraine, in Eastern Europe. Uh, Poland may get, in, may get involved. Uh, Europe is being deindustrialized essentially by starving it of energy. So all the uh, industries are, are not doing well. Re Europe is going into recession. Germany has officially entered recession. Mm. There is a mess in Africa. So much is happening. So And there's a, there's a whole different angle in Asia as well. There is the Taiwan angle. There's the India-China angle. The Pakistan uh, the nuisance is always there. North Korea is there. The Russia-Japan angle. There's a whole lot happening. The world is kind of in very rapid motion now geopolitically. And a lot could change in the next uh, couple of years. Who knows? And possibly nuclear fusion has been invented somewhere uh, possibly we may have uh, uh, overcome the threshold at which you get, get more energy output than you're in inputting into it but uh, e using that uh, in a sustained controlled manner may take at least a decade perhaps more so it's not something we can start using right away equivalent of early 1930s a little bit as well equivalent of the beginning of the manhattan project perhaps which is the the early 1940s so that's when the us understood the potential of uranium and they decided that we need to get this technology in our hands before the germans develop it so that was the beginning of the manhattan project which was overseen by oppenheimer which began by talking about oppenheimer but the reason we're bringing up all this is because 
the greatest lesson in history is that history repeats itself it is yes so it's very important to understand history as well as what's happening in your present times otherwise there's no point in studying the present times or in studying history if you don't understand that they're linked new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe